everyone. We are two weeks into our foster care placement, so we felt like it was time for another update. All right, so we figured that we'd share a little bit of an update on how he's been doing now that he's been with us for two weeks. So he's actually doing really, really well. He's fitting naturally into our rhythms and into the routine that we have. I feel like the first two to three days, the toughest things were sleeping, eating, and then he had an unhealthy attachment to me. So we'll start with the sleeping piece. Why don't you handle that? Okay, so when little C first came to us, he was waking up every 30 to 45 minutes, and that was in his previous foster home. And I think they also mentioned that he had night terrors and woke up a ton in his bio home. So when he came to us, we didn't know whether it was like trauma related or if he was actually having sleep terrors or if he was just never sleep trained. So initially we had him sleep in our room. Well, we still have him sleep in our room, <laughs> but we put him in there just so we can like monitor him and so he can feel safe, like knowing he's not alone. And within the first three to four nights, yeah. yeah, the first three to four nights, he was sleeping through the night. So I guess he was just feeling comfortable. And we also set like strict boundaries that he wasn't allowed to leave his bed. And he has like a sleep sack on. We gave him like a sound machine and he has like a nightlight in there. And we always make sure we go through the same routine every night. So we read the same books every night, sing the same songs, we pray together. And it's funny because he literally thrives on that routine. Like he wants us to do it in the exact right order. Like you have to change his diaper and then change his clothes and then read through the books. Like he has to have it the same. And if you do that, like he goes to sleep, no problem. We don't have to sit in the room until he falls asleep. You can just leave right afterwards and he's totally comfortable. So it's cool to see like how well he's adjusted in that area and pretty quickly too. So then the second piece was eating. And so the way we tackled this was we just had him join us at the table while we were eating our food. We would put the food on the tray on his high chair and would essentially say, all right, this is the food that you have to eat. Would just give him the freedom to eat that whenever he wanted to, but he wasn't allowed to leave the, the, the chair until he actually did finish the food. And so the first two days, we were just giving him food that he'd asked for, which was things like chicken nuggets and fries. But then day three, day four, he slowly started being willing to eat some more of the food that we were eating. And now he's pretty much eating a healthy balance of vegetables, uh, starch, meat, so just like your general nutrition. And he's eating when we eat at the table. And I think the rhythm and the routine has gotten really comfortable for him and he's found security in that. Yeah, and it's really cool because he literally like eats anything. Like he doesn't look at anything and like, ooh, what's this? Like he's so good when it comes to eating. And again, that was like probably a bigger challenge than sleeping in the beginning. And it's just cool to see like how he's adjusted so well in that area. And then the last one was unhealthy attachment. So I actually had to travel. And so it was essentially sink or swim for Alana. So how did that go? It was great. The first day that he left, as soon as Jordan was like out of sight, it was like out of sight, out of mind. He didn't bother asking for him. And I took him to the park right away. And I made sure I did fun things with him that day. And I don't know if he was just distracted, but he was totally fine not being with Jordan. And he clung to me and he was doing great. And then Jordan got home and he went back to like not wanting me and just wanting him. And then we realized that he's fine with me when he's not around. And as soon as he comes around again, he like does not want me. But thankfully now we're two weeks in, that's completely gone away. Sometimes he prefers me, sometimes he prefers him. He loves our kids. He's totally comfortable whenever they're around. Before he was kind of timid and didn't want to play with them. And now there's times where I don't like see him for like 20 minutes because he's just off somewhere in the house with the older kids. And it's really cool because before he would stay really close to him or stay really close to me because we were like his security blankets and now he's just comfortable everywhere. Yep. All right, so would you say that he feels like a natural kid to you? That's one of the questions that we've been receiving from like our friends and family that's been asking us how that's been going is whether or not he feels like a natural kid to us. So how would you answer that question? So I feel like I definitely feel like I'm responsible for him and he fits in so well. His personality is very similar to that of our older two kids. So in that aspect, it's been really, really nice because I feel like I haven't had to change like our lifestyle a bunch. It's really easy to go out with him and to go to like farms and do fun activities. He's not like a difficult kid to deal with. And so I definitely appreciate that about him and there's things that I love about him. I don't think he totally feels like one of my kids yet because, well, obviously we're still doing visits with bio parents, which is expected, it's foster care. And I remember feeling the same way with our last placement, like they felt like our kids and then they would like go on to longer and longer visits and then they would come back and I'm like just reminded that they're like not ours. 
which is good because they're not. We are doing a ministry by taking care of them while their actual parents can't. But I feel like I'm getting there where I feel like it'll just feel like he's a natural part of the family. Yeah, I feel like there's moments that he does. So for example, the morning when he wakes up, he's super happy to see us and you know that's super cute and endearing and it feels very natural and normal. But then there's other things that are a little bit unfamiliar. So if we're, at a, if we're at a park and we have to leave, then sometimes he'll be a little bit stubborn in terms of coming with us. And so th that's where it's like really clear, okay, you know, this is, this kid doesn't really see me as his actual parent, but it's really a mix of both. So I feel like there's moments for me that he does feel really natural, that's a natural part of the family, and then moments that he doesn't. But I think based on our past experience, the more and more time that we'll spend together, the more he'll just feel like a natural part of the, of the family. I will say that like I love my like nieces and nephews but it still kind of like grosses me out to change someone else's kid and I feel like I don't have that with him already so in that sense I feel like he's like one of our kids because I'm not like grossed out by his snot or like his poops and I feel like that's a pretty telltale sign that he's just like you know kind of fitting right in. But there are certain things I don't know what his triggers are yet. I could play with my kids and I can tell when like they're like okay they want to keep playing or when they're like alright like I'm kind of done with this and I don't have that gauge with him yet, so I could be like tickling him and he's like laughing and having a blast and two seconds later he's like Arr! and then he's like super angry and goes off in a corner. So we're still learning like his temperament and like his triggers and so like that is when I feel like he's not obviously naturally ours because I know my own kids inside and out and with him we're still learning. So, but we'll get there. So how do you feel like our kids have been doing with little C and adjusting to having another kid in the house? Our kids are amazing. <laughs> they So there's another sibling. That she, he has an older sister who we are taking in very soon. They keep asking for us to like bring her in, like they're so ready to bring in another kid. They really love having foster siblings. They loved having the twins when we had them. They love little C, and they're really good about like sharing us with them. Because little C naps during the day and our older kids don't, we still get like that alone time with them. When they go away for visits, we'll do like dates with them, so they still get one-on-one -on -one quality time with us, and so I feel like they have a really good balance of having to share us with their foster siblings, but also having their own time with us. And I feel like as long as we keep that balance going, they're gonna keep enjoying doing this as a family. It's also really cool to see them understand and be and participate in this ministry with us because they're really good with them. You know, they engage with them. They give them things that he needs. If he's asking for food or if he's asking for a toy, they'll be really gentle with them. And so it's cool to see to see that in them, and then also grow kind of their compassion and empathy. So that's been cool. Last question, what are your hopes for the next two weeks, considering that we're two weeks in now? So I really hope that he doesn't regress because as we mentioned, like he's doing super well. And I know that as he becomes more comfortable with us, like regression is a possibility or he will just continue to be more, more and more awesome. <laughs> I'm also really looking forward to taking in his sister. She is the same age as our son. They're literally like a month and a half apart. So I'm curious to see how that's gonna go and I'm hoping it's not gonna be like a problem. I'm hoping it'll actually be really fun for the kids to have another playmate who's closer to their age, who's in the same like developmental stage as them. And so we'll see how that goes, but we're excited to sort of bring her in and to see if that helps them both adjust faster and just to see what she brings to this family. I would agree. I would say I'm eager to see him continue to feel more safe and secure and become a bigger part of the family and feel more natural. So those are things that I'm looking forward to. All right, so that was our two week update with little C and we will post another update as soon as the big sister arrives so we can keep you guys posted. Thank you guys for joining us on this journey. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you wanna keep seeing these videos so you can be notified when we post a new one. See you next time.